Craig here and in this short video I want to show you a piece of software that I've been beta testing for the past couple of weeks. Now today, January 21st, they released AccuRank Tracker to the public. Now for the first five days you can get this software for $27 and that includes a free lifetime updates and there's no monthly occurring fee or anything like that. Now after Friday the price is going to go up. I'm not sure how much it's going to go up so if you want to get it at $27 you'll need to act before I believe it's January 27th. Okay so before I show you the software I want to mention that I've been involved in internet marketing and website creation for several years now and I learned most of my stuff over at Wealthy Affiliate. Now Wealthy Affiliate is a community where people go and learn about internet marketing or building a website and all kinds of things but it's generally people that are new to the whole building a website or ranking etc and one mistake that's commonly made is people create their first website or publish their first article focusing on a keyword phrase and then they go check google to see if they're ranked and then they come back all excited saying yeah i'm on the first page of google but what they don't realize is google is personalizing their ranking results now, if you're signed into Gmail or like a YouTube account or Google AdWords, AdSense, etc., Google will personalize your search results. But they also use your browser history, your cookies, your IP address, your location, and these all alter your search engine ranking. And there's also which version of Google are you on? Like right now, I'm on Google.com and I'm in Canada, so you know. By default, I believe most people search google.ca. So what I'm going to show you now is the AccuRank Tracker software. Now it's very straightforward and if I want to add a new keyword phrase or a URL, I simply come over here and under site URLs, I can click that and I can enter in a new URL. And this can also be like a YouTube video and I simply click add and then close or I can import a whole list of different URLs. And then for keyword phrases, it's the same thing. You simply enter in your keyword phrase and click add and then close. And then we come over to add statistic. And here from the drop down menu, we select our keyword phrase, the URL, the country. And if we want to use a proxy server, we can select the proxy server to run the software through. Now, if you've never heard of a proxy server, uh, they, they have some training videos on how to set this up. Basically, it's so like I'm located in Canada and if I had a client in the UK, for instance, and I wanted to know where they ranked for certain keyword phrases, well, I would set up a UK proxy server so that when I run the software to check their keyword phrases, it would use a UK proxy server. Basically, it would make the software appear as if it was located in the UK when it was checking Google. Anyway, after you selected that, you simply click save and it would be added to the list of keyword phrases. You can also import several hundred keyword phrases at a time if you wish. So I'm going to close this and I'm just going to quickly run over the data that I've collected during the beta testing period. The first website I've been tracking is madewithstone.com. It's actually my masonry website, which I haven't touched in over a year. I rarely do any stonework anymore and, you know, Google did kind of punish me a little bit for some Fiverr gigs that I paid $5 for and basically created a whole bunch of bad backlinks. So avoid Fiverr gigs for backlinks if I were you. Anyway, I'm still ranked number one for certain keyword phrases like Ottawa Stone Masonry. It's telling me I'm ranked number one. Uh, there's been no changes since I last checked. And Bing, I'm number three and no changes there. And this under country we have Canada because I'm searching google.ca. We have our last check date. Uh, if we want to add a note, we can click here and we can go to any, basically these are all of, of the dates from when the software has scanned. So I could select a date and add my note. Let's say I created a couple of backlinks. Well, I could type in here a note saying backlinks added on this day hit save and there would be a note added to this keyword phrase. Now obviously green and red arrows indicates you've gone up in ranking or you've lost ranking. 
Now, if you see NA, that's you're not in the first 100 results. Uh, scrolling down here, you will see that I've also been tracking videos that I put on YouTube. Now, this is looking at for the thumbnails that appear in the Google web results. Now, again, I have only entered all these in during the better testing period, and I will probably clean up and only track the videos that I want to track uh, in the coming days here. Now, another key thing about this software is you can schedule it. So basically, if we went to File, Settings, we have a scheduler settings here. So we can set it to run every day, week. We can choose what time of day to run it, or we can have it run every day five hours, six hours, however often you want it to run, you can set it to run. Now also under the settings, you have another option where you can delay because <clears throat> the software is making queries with Google and Bing. So you can set delays and um, these are like pause between three and eight seconds each query. So if you notice that Google was giving you one of those temporary bans, which I haven't noticed, but I know if you do too many queries, that would happen. Well, you could just alter this, the uh, the delay, and you could sort that out. And here you can set up a proxy server. Uh, logo path, uh, we're going to get to that in a minute. Basically, it's when we export the results to a PDF report, you can insert your logo. So under proxies, if we wanted to add a new proxy, we could just put in the address and add, or we could import a whole bunch of them. Now, they do have some training videos covering how to do all of these simple tasks. If we just fired up the software and I wanted it to go off and check all of the keyword phrases in here, I simply press check and it would check each one. But if I wanted to just pick a couple of random ones to check, well, you know, I have one a YouTube video here about a sore thumb WordPress plugin. Last time I checked, I was ranked 17th and that was on the 15th. Today's the 21st. So I'd simply press this play button and it would go off and check the ranking. So there's no change in my ranking there. Uh, another thing you can do is if you've highlighted a keyword phrase, you can right click and you could press check selected keyword. We can also press view history. And what it's going to do is bring up this image thing. And basically, let me just jump back to December and hit refresh. Well, this isn't a good example to show you with. So we can also export all of the data to a PDF file. And that's where uploading the logo came into it. So what I'm going to do is pick one of these keyword phrases. Uh, let's go with this. Uber suggest alternative. And it says my video is currently ranked number one. And it's gone up one spot. So let's say... I was doing a promotion for a company and I wanted to give them the report. I could click export selected records. I'm just going to, you would call it your keyword phrase maybe and click save. And it would generate the PDF report. And it would automatically open up in Adobe. And basically this is our custom logo. It gives us the URL. It's being tracked, the keyword phrase, the date the report was created and the ranking data so it tells you the exact day and time when it was checked it used to be uh, number two it's not appearing on bing and that's probably because it's a youtube video and then we also have the image here now the image is captured from the last time it was checked so i did a couple for my blog and i have uber suggest alternative here too so we'll click on export selected records and we'll just call this one, two, three because I'll be deleting it after this video. And here we have the, uh, the details on the ranking. Now you may think, whoa, this has been checked a lot of times. Now keep in mind, I was better testing the software. So here on the 7th, it was checked numerous times because we were having a couple of problems, but everything has been updated since. And as of the 21st, uh, the blue circle here, we are in position number two. And on Google, we are position number six. So the software is called AccuRank Tracker. And if you want to check it out, I'm going to put a link in the video description. 
and on the video overlay. If you have any questions or comments, you know, feel free to post them. I'll gladly help you out. Also, while I'm talking about Uber Suggest, if you check out my YouTube channel, you'll be able to see the uh, Uber Suggest alternative video. Or actually, you know what? Go Google search it and uh, you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, have a great day.